Well, Miko, three pre-tournament games in the books for you guys, a week and a half of training camp, and now the World Cup itself is just days away. What do you make of your group here now with the tournament, uh, again, just, just days away from getting going here now? Well, I think, uh, I think we had uh, good experiences uh, with the, with the preseason games and, and uh, um, a lot of traveling and, and, and coming overseas and all that, so now that's behind us. And, and so that it's good to uh, kind of settling in and, and a couple more practices to go and, and then we're uh, then for the first game. So uh, we should be uh, should be good to go and I'm very excited to, uh, to get started. You face North America to begin this tournament on Sunday. Are they perhaps maybe the, the one group that has caught your eyes a little bit maybe than some of the other teams? For sure, they're uh, different. I mean, uh, uh, the, the way they select the team, and, and, and uh, for sure we, we know all the players, but it's tough to uh, kind of figure out the, the style of hockey that they're going to play. Uh, they're very fast, and, and, and they can move the puck and, and all that, but they don't, I guess as a team, they're hard to find their uh, identity right now, and um, because they haven't played before, but, uh, but it'll, be, uh, it'll be interesting. And, and like I said, uh, with their individuals, we, we know them as players, so uh, we need to be ready to uh, play tight defensively and, and, and just play to our structure and, and uh, make sure we're ready to go from the, from the puck, uh, puck drop. You were just 21 when this last tournament happened in 2004 as a member of Team Finland, and it was a, a pretty special run for, for the Finns to go to the final against Canada. What do you remember about being in that tournament? A lot. I mean, uh, uh, great memories. Obviously, it was my first tournament uh, with with the pro team, and and uh, first of all, just to get a chance to play with uh, with all all them, uh, it was something special for myself as, as a young kid. And and for sure, when oh, every time when you get a success in the tournament, then you get you, you you go far. Uh, I think the memories are even even better. And uh, uh, we played some good hockey and. And it was uh, uh, some of the games were in Finland as well, so uh, it was a little bit different uh, at the time. But like I said, great memories from there. And now, I mean, you're, you're no stranger to wearing the C for for your national team. But being in an event like now, at this stage of your career, are these moments maybe a little more special now? They are. I think you. Uh, I think you realize uh, the the older you get that uh, the chances to uh, to play for. First of all, representing for uh, your, your country and, and get a chance to play in a tournament with all the best players from the world. I think uh, I think you do realize that that how special they are and, and and for for the players, but also for the fans and for the game of hockey. So uh, it's uh, really appreciated and, and and you wanna uh, you wanna enjoy it every minute of it. But uh, like I said, at, at the same time, you want to make sure that uh, individual and as, as a team as well, uh, you need to focus on hockey and, and make sure that, uh, that everyone's ready to go. And, and, um, but for sure, you want to have some fun as well and, and uh, enjoy it, like I said. All right, Lamigo, have fun today at Media Day and best of luck in the tournament. Great, thank you.